so Thank much. Thank you. All right, I've been telling you all about the potential benefits in treating COVID-19 patients with new drugs, including hydroxychloroquine, which is actually an old drug. It's been around for a long time. And we've been talking about this to you for more than a week, including bringing on cases of actual Americans whose lives were, in their view, in their words, saved after being prescribed that drug combination of hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin. Now, my next guest is currently using the drug on patients uh, for its traditional, more traditional uses, autoimmune diseases. He's also getting results. Well, joining me now is world-renowned physician, global entrepreneur, Nicholas Pericone. Dr. Pericone, great to see you. Uh, you've been following the, um, well, it's the establishment of medical community, which is notoriously, and, and I guess for good reason, a risk averse, but this is wartime in this fight against this virus. So are you, are, are you surprised that there's a lot of hesitancy about uh, green lighting this old anti-malarial? Yes, I'm very surprised. Uh, I understand uh, as a physician, I too am risk averse, uh, but let's look at the risk benefit ratio here. This drug was released in 1945. That's over 70 years ago. It's uh, currently uh, about a million patients a year on it for uh, other reasons like autoimmune disease, uh, lupus, and also um, rheumatoid arthritis. And uh, there's nothing better as far as I'm concerned in terms of safety of a drug is to have it being used a long time. And 70 years is a very long time. We know from the data coming in uh, that it's looking very good. Now, I understand we would all love to have some really great uh, comparative studies, but we don't have time for that. In fact, time is of the essence right now. And this, we're giving them a short, basically a short treatment of maybe five to seven days. With five to seven days on hydroxychloroquine, uh, there is side effect profiles extremely, extremely low. And therefore, I don't think that's a worry. So if we look at this and look at the risk benefit ratio, we have a drug that's been tried and true for 70 years. We're getting some good data back. And we're pe we have people that are infected with a very bad disease here. It makes no sense to me whatsoever to hesitate uh, distributing this drug. Don't forget, you'll be under the, under the care of a physician. So the physician will check to make sure it's not going to be a conflict with other medications or if you have any underlying problems. And so we need to move forward on this. We need to move very quickly. Time is the essence. Every day counts in terms of saving lives here. And for anybody to be hesitant at this time, I think is doing a, a huge disservice uh, to the people of this country. And I can't emphasize enough, we need to get uh, enough uh, product here, and we're getting some good news. It looks like Israel may provide 30 million doses uh, of the hydroxychloroquine, and I, I understand that. the pharmaceutical yeah. companies here Dr. are stepping Par up. Yeah. Yes. Doc Dr. Paracon, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we're out of time. Thank you so much for your perspective. Coming up, Joe Biden gets